I really should finish reading this someday. You don't have to. Not required. Especially with how these assholes are acting, right? This country is just way too big. So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. Twenty dollar donation. I like me barbecue. Noon through three. I know I shouldn't peek, but Karen did her own road trip to get here. Glad to Why know do she you have these. Lesson. Does like every mile, my heart goes racing it. sore. I remember now the feeling. I am back to beating, tearing apart my core. Early morning blues, coffee, red eye truckers, and sad families, bad eyes, my bad eggs. Not the witch's fault. She's this quick, hurried one. Texas Clementine, 22 wish, redhead, die, brunette. Kind of pretty. Wonder if she made it. Wonder if I care. Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. We've come a long, long way, buddy. This thing is killing my back. I got bruises on my bruises. This place is quite remote. Oh, no shit. It's in the middle of the desert. At least nobody will be looking for me here. I got a few moments to myself, so let's practice. So it's good for us, right? Get used to that eye. I wonder who lives around here. It's so wild and huge. Huge. Okay. Where the fuck did Karen go? Just draw now. Don't think about anything. I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Let's get our, let's get our focus on, get our details together. I could see myself stopping by this motel during a road trip. <laughs> Taking a dip in the pool after a long ride. It's a Kraken? These mountains really inspire me. All right, back to reality, dude. Okay, let the note, huh? Be right back. <laughs> we'll find out. Popped out for supplies. I'll grab some food in case you want to eat. And do socks and shorts in the bathroom. All yours if they fit. I'd be a good time to contact Jacob. His number is on the letter he said. Be right back, Karen. Jeez. Dear Mrs. Diaz. It took Super Mom eight years to give a shit. My name is Jacob and I worked with your sons, Sean and Daniel, on a farm in California. There are some problems and Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now in Haven Point, Nevada. He gave me this P.O. Box address so we can get the, if you get this. I think Daniel might be in danger. He needs help to get out of here. I can tell you more if you contact me at this number, 775-555-0118. Please hurry. Thank you, Jacob. Why did you bring him here, Jacob? That's, that's a bigger question. Huh. 
This isn't her tablet. Struggles with too many apps open, but should be okay for basic browsing. Geolocate. She, password is 112-708. Hope you find your son. Yay, technology. She came prepared. To your new life at the Universal Uprising Church, Haven Point. Uh -huh. Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. Looks like a roach motel. But nobody will find me there. Mustard party too? Fuck yeah. She came prepared. Looks oh, like hang on. I was about to say, how do I call Daniel? But I guess we use a mobile phone, huh? But Karen was always into it. Or not. I even think it's the one she had back then. I'll use the motel phone, of course. Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. Yeah, I only woke up a while ago. You found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brady Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Billboard, junction above Haven Point, F4. Wild mice ranch billboard. Damn. He couldn't really talk. All this is so messed up. How uncomfortable is this bed, huh? Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. I mean, or, or she's here, so I would hope she would come back. If not for us, and for her garbage. Hey, sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How are you feeling? Like shit? <sighs> Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? You remember that? That'll do. I think you would have been appropriate, Sean. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean, I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? Uh, determination. Got some help. Dad taught us. We almost didn't. We got some help. We just got lucky. And got some help along the way. Total strangers. We even had our own little family. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. 
I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did, and why, if you care. So, ask me anything. Why? All right. It's a big question, right? With the why. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I wasn't happy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You had a lot of choices. You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices. Right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. Felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again. But I took that responsibility. Did, did, did he know? Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. He was heartbroken? He was better than you? He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. So, wh why are you here now? So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Trouble is that he, he, he's responsible for because he brought Daniel here. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Yes, I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so. Yeah, okay. I think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself, thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. I know you are, Karen. It still doesn't change the way I feel. I mean, you could have done it. Come and visit. Annual visits would have done a lot of, a lot of good, you know. Sean, I don't think you would. I need some air. And you follow. Good. Not enough people do that nowadays. <laughs> Always follow. Sure. Whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open. See what happens. Did you miss us? What did you do? Did you miss us? So, did you ever actually miss us? Or dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. 
I missed sharing these moments with you, Sean. We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because Dad sucked. Or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. And you gave that up! Did stargaze a lot. Why would you give that up? You. Trust me. For Wanderlust? I'm having trouble understanding her motives. I really am. Um... So... What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. God, and that pool's in a pit, ain't it? Dad. They wanted me to follow Why'd their Why'd they rules, bury it so deep? Their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way. With no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Was it worth it? Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I found my place in the world with like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. It really is. But I think people should know who they are. Not fake it for anybody. So why, yeah, why, why is this? I get you wanted to leave and stuff. Okay, but why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. How young are we talking here? Yeah. I wasn't that lucky. Oh, Sean. I know. Do you want to tell me how you felt then? Or now? I felt guilty that we weren't enough for you. No, no. You guys were the reason to stay. I left because of me. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel. Someday. I could start by getting his ass out of that church. Cult. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. You have, you have hair like... You sound so... Seriously, Lannister in the latest season of Game of Thrones. Hairless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. See where I get it from.